Pallavi Musrishtika and I will be reciting my poem titled Anxiety. I didn't see you leave. No, I didn't. My anxiety told me you'd leave one day. I wasn't in town. They say distance makes the heart grow fonder. My heart just gives me palpitations over a hundred per minute, wondering if you'll still be there when I get back home. I unlocked the door by myself. An anxiety came to whisper. This is how your life will be. And I wondered if staying by myself was such a bad thing. The heart wants companionship. Love is just a breeze that ventilates my house sometimes. And sometimes I trap it within my paper walls, windows closed. And then I'd suffocate and I'd run to the balcony door and let it escape. And anxiety would come and tell me again. You are the reason love was fine inside. I went to the kitchen, cut the milk packet like you told me to. Not completely but attached so that the fish in the water would be saved and plastic won't choke them. I made fried rice for myself just the way you like it with lots of oregano and a little asafoetida. But anxiety didn't leave me to cherish those habits I'd absorbed from you. Instead, she came to whisper. And this is what you'll do when he leaves. Live in his memory. My bed was a mess. Your towel on my bed, the iron still plugged, and the sofa, wearing your jeans and t-shirt. I like cleaning your mess. It makes me smile. And anxiety came to whisper again. And this is what will later make you cry. She ruins most things for me. I wasn't truly really happy when I could be. I wasn't really at peace when I could be, only if I could silence my anxiety. She is a sadist who steals so much of my life, doesn't let me live the moment I am in most of the time. I know her too well by now, but I've never been able to fight her until you helped me. The one she turns me against. She makes you my enemy and you call truce. You tell me a thousand times that you won't leave. You tell me that you'll say it as many times as I need to hear it. And anxiety comes and whispers again. And one day you'll just get tired. It's just gonna be you and me. She loves me too much, this possessive beast in my head. She saved me from a hell lot of disappointments, but not the sadness of a broken heart. She's made me prepare for the worst of what-ifs in the worst of ways, throwing me on panic tracks and watching me suffer as I'd scream for my dear life and force my mind to survive multiple times. And very haughtily, she would turn to me every time. You're a stubborn soul. You survived. Good job. Have fun until next time. I see you. I know you enough. You're a friend in disguise for some. But stop bothering me now. Your job is done. The bell rang. came in with love and companionship. I hugged you tight, cherishing your odor, tasting your lips like I'd been starved for ages. We 
thinking, almost thinking, if there'll be a next time. You sniffed my anxiety from a hall away, making her way to the front of my mind. And before she could interrupt, you said to me, I ain't leaving. I smiled, feeling alive that very moment.